Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Mask Sane. Welcome back to another Pokemon Go video. So in today's video with you guys is a video of footage that I've actually found of someone who has actually caught Mewtwo. Now, we don't know if this is real or fake. It's most likely fake. It really does look real but it is most likely fake the guy did make it really really look real he probably changed the coding in game to make it look like Mewtwo but it looks legitimate and this is probably how catching Mewtwo is gonna look like and if this video can actually reach 5,000 likes I'm actually going to be giving away this level 32 account which is completely insane I do have this spare level 32 account it literally has a Dragonite a Blastoise and I'm gonna give it away to one of you guys if this video can reach 5,000 likes I will do that in a future video so if you guys would like me to give it away to one of you guys just be sure to leave a comment saying that and make sure that you are subscribed and you do leave a like and at 5,000 likes I will give it away you know I'm not really too sure if you guys do want me to give it away or if we can reach 5,000 likes but if you do really want me to give this account away, I will do it at 5,000 likes. And the more likes that the video does get, the more chance that I will give away the account. And of course, I still am doing the 8 iTunes slash Google Play card giveaway. And to enter into that, all you guys will need to do is leave a like and leave a comment as well as subscribe. And that'll basically get you entered in. And that giveaway is going to be drawn on Friday. Now we are going to be going over the footage of catching Mewtwo and after that we'll go through some update notes but basically why don't we get into the footage of catching Mewtwo to start this one off. Now the footage is actually from this guy called JeweyCool9999 and his link is in the description. I know T Martin did make a video on this before me but it is not his footage it is actually this random guy's footage with 20 subs so you guys can watch his video the original video if you would like to but basically we'll be going through that right now so as we can see Mewtwo is just directly so as we can see now a wild Mewtwo has appeared now it is a little bit laggy but what we will be doing is going through the footage basically just watching it over completely and then we'll be judging it to see if it is real or fake now he's got his CP in the question mark now he's got question marks for CP so that means it's basically a uh, higher CP than any other Pokemon I'm pretty sure than any other one of his Pokemons and he is going to be throwing a Great Ball at the Mewtwo and of course it does have the little red thing there to show that it is like really hard to get but randomly he does manage to get it on the first shot that is the first fishy part of this video and it does come up as a new Pokemon which is a non fishy thing but and it does actually register in the Pokedex and now he's got it edited in 3249 CP he's got the HP edited in so everything does look correct I'm not sure uh, what does not look correct because as we can see with his moves they do look kind of correct as he is a psychic Pokemon and he is a psychic type he's got his weight his height he's got 221 HP which is the maximum HP for a Mewtwo I think I'm not even sure it does look really fishy how he only threw one great ball with a raspberry and managed to get a Mewtwo with like 3500 or 3200 CP with only one great ball that's probably like the only fishy thing out of this and the other thing is basically Mewtwo has never been caught so someone just randomly catching a Mewtwo out of nowhere and managing to record it at the exact same time is another really fishy thing so I'm just gonna come to the conclusion that this is basically fake and he did try really really hard to make it look like it's real and it, and it does seem very real if you guys know anything in this clip that does not seem real be sure to comment that down below but I know that this has to be fake and don't fall for this guys because I know that he must have edited in the file somehow and made the Mewtwo actually appear in the game but why don't we go through some update notes so there's been a recent update which is actually came out it came out like a few hours ago now this has been a pretty big update and I just want to update you guys on the game as it is a pretty big update and the first thing is that the transfer button has been moved so basically they've moved it to the bottom right now and the next thing is you can always still transfer your Pokemon into candy and they've just lowered it to the bottom right now and basically there's a transfer or a favorite option and also if you do favorite a Pokemon they are protected now so you can't transfer them so randomly 
uh, accidentally transferring a favorited Pokemon could have happened before but now if you do have a favorited Pokemon you cannot transfer it and the next thing is footprints seem to be gone so usually there were the three footprints on everything and it was just a complete glitchy mess they used to work right like the closest Pokemon used to be one footprint and the rest used to be like two and three but it looks like that's been taken out of the game as there was a huge issue regarding it the next thing is they've actually added like little on-screen commands where it says do not trespass while playing Pokemon Go just little hints to make sure that people don't trespass also don't drive while playing Pokemon Go and don't enter dangerous areas while playing Pokemon Go this is probably due to all the police all the people calling the police on trespassers in their houses trying to catch Pokemon you know you see a little Pikachu in someone's backyard and you just gotta jump into there jump over their fence and just catch that Pikachu and also a lot of the crashes that people have gotten into due to Pokemon Go as well as uh, entering dangerous areas I'm not too sure about what what a dangerous area would be classified in maybe a construction site or something like that just don't go into hard hat construction sites without a hard hat you know and you can also now change your look there's a new customized button in your profile and it lets you change the look of your avatar something that you could only do at sign up and also Team Mystic players can now pick gear colored to match their team colors just like Instinct and Valor have been able to do. They've also added a bunch of small features like Egg Incubation screen now has a button that will take you directly to the shop. Just one more little push to encourage you to drop a few bucks in case that 5k egg has that Porygon you need. No word yet on if we can transfer away 2k eggs that we don't want that are just taking up spots for a potential 10k egg but well probably not but if they did actually add that just reading through that it does seem like it would be a pretty cool idea for them to add in a method in which you can do to actually get rid of two kilometer eggs because you could just get like a whole bunch of them and then be full filled up on two kilometer eggs until you've actually cracked them or hatched them but if they could make it so you could actually sell them or get rid of them so you could catch so you could get more 10 kilometer eggs or five kilometer eggs that would be pretty cool and they've also changed the font on some of these stuff and made the font a lot bolder and I think it does look a lot better and a bunch of the medals actually did manage to get redesigned and basically that is everything that they have added into the game now I will have a little bit of evolving action in the background from the account which I might be giving away if you guys would like me to I might give it away at 5,000 likes in a future video but if you can subscribe if you haven't already that would help a ton and also leave a like on the video would help a ton as well but that's pretty much all for me and enjoy the background gameplay and i'm out peace Jack it up.